Hey, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And today I got a good video for you guys. Today I'm gonna be taking the Z to the dyno and I'm gonna be getting retuned because right now the car is currently running a little lean. And also I gotta get tuned with the new exhaust and with E85 because I have my flex fuel center hooked up. So now I'll finally be able to run E85. I already had lines, fuel pump, injectors all ready for E85. All I needed was that flex fuel sensor. So now that I got that done, finally ready to go to the dyno and make some more power. So what I think, last time I was at the dyno, I made 355 to the wheels. I'm thinking right now with my new setup, I should be in the 380s. Should be around there, should be a good number. Right now the car feels pretty good. It's running good, drives good, and also with the new rims, this thing hooks, man, I'm telling you. These 295, these 295 Michelin Pilot Super Sports, they ain't no joke. I was kind of iffy about going with the Michelin Pilot Super Sports because they are really pricey, but it is definitely worth it. And also today, I don't know if you guys noticed, I'm fiddling with my new vlog setup. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick little run through on what it is. So I have a GoPro 8 with a Ulanzi case, which basically I need that to hook up my external microphone. And I also have the GoPro mic adapter to hook up a microphone to it. And for the mic, external mic I have, I have a Rode video mic. And I also have um, this purple Panda mic I bought. It's nothing too special, but it's gonna be a mic that I'm gonna be running on the outside of the car. And I'm gonna put it around here so when I'm racing, you guys can hear the exhaust clips because I also have the GoPro suction mount so I can hook up on my car. But when I was testing around doing that, all you can hear is straight wind noise and you can't even hear anything. So I went ahead and got that mic so you guys have good quality sound. It won't sound like trash. And now I got quality video. So, you know, today's overall a good day. I'm pretty excited. Also, I'm gonna be driving two hours, which is gonna be freaking crazy. I'm driving to Sebastian, Florida to go get the car tuned. My boy Justin, who tuned the car last time, awesome guy, got the car pretty dialed in. I think when I, I don't know, I hope my wide man oxygen sensor is not bad, because he said it could be bad, and that's why the AFRs are going a little crazy. But. I guess we'll see. I hope it's not, but we'll see. If it is, whatever, I gotta order a new one. It's a little bit pricey, but it's not that bad. So right now I'm gonna give you a little quick rundown. I know the last video was a little crazy and all over the place with the rims. I didn't really have too much to film. I just wanted to make a video with the new rims and a little burnout for you guys, but... Um, so yeah, not really too much has changed. So what I did, I changed my fuel setup in the front because last time how I had it set up, I had the fuel pressure regulator connected before the rails, which is not how you want to have it hooked up. You want to have the regulator after the rail. So basically I have the feed line that comes here, connects to the rail, then it loops over, then it goes to the end of the rail, and then that connects straight to the fuel pressure regulator, which I have right here. It's kind of a little dark, but yeah, so I have that connected to the fuel pressure regulator. And then it goes back to the tank for the return line. And also what I have is a very, very important mod that I needed a while ago, which is, let me go get a light so you guys can see better. So this very important mod that you really need is catch can. So what I have here, it's pretty much the best of the best. I didn't want to go cheap on this. 
So I have a Mighty Mouse Catch can. And how I have it set up is basically I have this line right here, which is the breather port, which goes through the throttle body straight to the passenger side valve cover. Then with my LS6 valley cover without the built-in PCV, I have it going straight to the cash pin. And it connects right there. Then I have the top line on the cash cam. And I ran it all the way. And it connects straight to the intake manifold. I know it's kind of a little blurry, but yeah, so that's the setup. Looks cool. Makes the engine bay look nice. And that's pretty much it. And obviously the rims so you guys saw last time. Man, let me tell you, these rims are freaking beautiful. It makes the car look so good. But yeah, enough of all this chit chatting. I'm about to start the journey, about to hit the road, and we should be there in about two hours. So I think while I'm there, while I'm driving there, I think I'm gonna test the new mic for the exhaust a little bit because I don't know how, how it is. And I don't know if it's gonna block all the wind noise out, which I'm hoping it does, because it'll kind of suck. Because I want to get some nice shots for you guys and some exhaust clips. But yeah, I guess there's only one way to find out. So right now, I'm gonna hook that up and then I should see you guys on the road. Peace. Also, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. You don't know how much it helps the channel, helps build a small channel, and helps other people see it. It means a lot and you know it's free. All you gotta do is hit the like button and subscribe. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit.
exhaust mic's hooked up and it works phenomenal. So I can't be having a better day, honestly. So we got about an hour left and we're finally beginning to. So far, when I left, I had a full tank. Now I'm about a, almost a half tank. It's not that bad for an LS motor. Not that bad gas mileage.
workout boy, so I'm about to pull up right now. It's finally about to be that time. Should be over here on the left. Should be this warehouse right here. What's up, man? Just about to zip tie that real quick. Should be good. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna go street center real quick. And then we'll be able to throw it on the dyno. Alright y'all boys, so right now what he's doing. I already have the flex fuel sensor hooked up. All he has to do is go on his laptop set the input for the wire that I have it hooked up to and put it as a flex fuel sensor and I also zip tied the bumper the best I could for right now you know we're on the road it's a little flimsy I hope it don't come off when I'm on the way home but I mean I think it should do right now it's a little exhaust mic setup I have just in case any of you guys are interested Basically, I ran it under the trunk right here, came out right here, and then it connects to the GoPro suction cup right there. So yeah, <laughs> other than the bumper falling off, <laughs> everything's pretty good, but I guess that was because I was speeding too much. But yeah, everything looks good. I'm just waiting for him and then we'll get started. How much did this one make? I was seeing they make like adapters so I could throw this supercharger on my car. Yup. But I, I want to go turbo, man. This is just beautiful. It's so nice. How much did this make? Uh, like 980. Jesus. 900. That's too fast. It looks so good though. It's like nice and simple. Yeah. Super simple. Simple but nice. I really like it. How long have um you guys had this set up for? Well, right at a year now. Well, actually, a little, a little over a year, year and a half. Probably. You guys made this intake? Everything. Jesus. That we made the grill, the intake, the door panels. We made everything. It's a real race car. Crazy. This thing is sick though. Beautiful. I would definitely love to put that in my car. I could easily put that in my car. But I just want to go turbo.
Yeah, I really wish I had an exhaust clip uh, when he started this, man. It was so sick. He said it makes about 980, and this one makes about 700, I think he said. But one day, y'all boys, we gonna have this. For now, she's gonna be a little ripper. And then. Whole lot of LS around here. Got a 240 over here with an LS2 in it. How much this make? Uh, 400. 400? It's a nice. <laughs> you got a baby seat in the back? Crazy. Yeah, that's sick. Oh, you had the G Plus uh, throttle body too. Yeah. What do you think about it? The price not that bad. The price is excellent. Yeah. He was saying that he built this back in when he was in high school. What year were you in high school? Uh, oh, four, oh five. Two thousand five. Sweet man, everything. Oh, and it has AC. Yeah. Damn. You got a streetcar, You know, I, I got everything to hook up the AC. I just gotta install it. Right. I'm about to put that on probably next month. It's gonna be nice. Oh, damn it, I just told you. So, yeah, that was a little secret that I didn't want to tell you guys. I was gonna be putting AC in the car, but I just spoiled it. But yeah, man, when I get AC in the car, it's going to freaking be nice. going to daily drive it. Hopefully she give me no problems. What do you guys think about it? Alright, you guys, so right now we got the flex fuel sensor all hooked up and it's working. So now we're about to go head up to the dyno. And... We're gonna make some more power, baby. So basically, when he tuned down the idle a little bit, he said it was a little bit too high. He tuned it down to like 750. And now it's at where it's supposed to be. Now we're just gonna go straight to the down, right? You gotta go get the right? boys so we just made it to the gas station it's the first E5 fill up that shit cheap so right now after this we're gonna go straight to the dyno it shouldn't be too far from here finally put this thing on the dyno and see what she should make So right now the car's on the dyno. Justin's just strapping it down. It's about to make some noise. Yep. And we're gonna wait for Edgar to log in. All right, you guys. So right now he's calibrating the dyno. Getting it all set up and ready.
good. The car sounds so good, man. <laughs> First pull, it was 350. So it was a good little improvement. And the torque is 339. Not bad. Alright, so on the first pull, we made 350 to the wheels, 329 torque. And the second pull, we made 359 and 339. So basically said, Edgar, who is the tuner, who is remote tuning the car, he's down in Miami. He made another little tweak and we're letting the car cool down for 10 minutes and hopefully it'll be around 365. We're not gonna be in the 380s, but hopefully it should be in the 360s. We'll see. It was a nice little improvement, but yeah, the main reason for coming today was because the car was running a little lean. So he got that all dialed in. Now the car is running fine. And now we're making a little bit more power. So overall, it's a good day. So we're just letting it cool off. And then we're going to take it one more rip. Hopefully we make around 365. boys about to take it for their final rip hopefully she makes 365 we'll see So right now it's at 362 wheel horsepower. It's not bad. I don't know if it'll go up more than that. I think that's pretty much where it's gonna stay at. But it's not bad. Pretty happy. Made a little bit of gains. The car's dialed in now. Should be a ripper. We'll be daily driving this. Get a whole bunch of content for you guys. Bro, you think that's she, all? That's all she's got. Quit making power. Alright. I bet I bet it was at the before it was only making like 320. 320? Yeah. 320, so you feel You know, maybe. And now we put the E85 yeah. picked up. I'm sure it's gonna feel a lot different. Yeah. We'll see. So like we were saying before, the other dyno where I went to before, he said that it reads it's not too too accurate. He said this one's more accurate. So 
I'm gonna go take this off and then go see how she feels. Yeah, I definitely will. Okay, so we're gonna take it off the dyno right now. And I'm about to switch the GoPro to the suction mount and use the exhaust mics so you guys can hear how it sounds. Gonna get my first reaction. So it should be cool. I said I should feel the difference, we'll see. At least it's more dialed in now.
All right, you guys, so now we're back at a shop, dropping them off. Right now, basically, what keeps happening with all the vibration, this little screw right here adjusts the idle, and it keeps twisting a little bit and raising the idle a little bit. So right now, he's going to figure out how we can um, secure it so it doesn't spin no more. And he might add a crack bubble tune on it. We'll see. All right, so right now Edgar, who is remote tuning in the car, he's right now setting up the crack bubble tune. So we're waiting for him to set it up and I should be all good to go, baby. Hopefully this baby don't shoot flames. It's gonna be sick, man. I love it. So, when I was driving it, I feel a big difference. The car feels so much better. It's like so different. And you could definitely tell it's way faster than how it was before. It's a big difference. All right, you guys, so we just finished hooking up the crack popple tune. And man, this thing is freaking insane, bro. It's so loud, it pops so loud. He says it's gonna definitely shoot flames at night. But right now I'm gonna go hook up the GoPro on the suction mount and hook up the exhaust mic and so you guys can hear the pops. Hope you guys enjoy it, man. So right now I'm basically gonna go home. It's been a long day, got a long drive. See you guys soon. You guys so I finally just got home after the two and a half hour trip car ran perfect the crack popple tune man that's awesome it's so awesome it sounds really good the car is running good the car is dialed in everything's perfect now super stoked today was a really good day used a new vlog setup got the cartoon today's just a good day in general so now we're all ready we make hella more content, a lot of racing videos, a lot of other stuff, super stoked. Now I got the equipment to record the racing videos. So everything's pretty much good now. Now all I gotta do is create more content for you guys. And yeah. Don't worry, we got stuff coming for her too. You know what I really want to do one day? I got to race both these cars. Which one do y'all think going to win?
but yeah thanks for all the support guys thank you for watching the video please leave a like and make sure to subscribe it really helps the channel helps build the channel and make sure to share it so other people can view it and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace